Today we're on location for the Sisters Inc. Brooklyn Chapter's annual health fair. And this time, as you know, it is October, which is officially Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So we're going up close and personal, giving you all the one-on-ones and loads of information on how you can screen in advance for breast cancer. So keep it right here. You're watching Beyond Focus TV with me, Lydia Patel. Beyond Focus TV allows you to discuss contemporary topics affecting the Caribbean people on both the national and local level. The show features informed guests who offer insight, debate, and evaluate various issues. Beyond Focus TV builds on the station's mission to provide useful information to the Caribbean people in New York and abroad. Beyond Focus TV, where our viewing audience can get educated, informed, and empowered. Welcome back. You're watching Beyond Focus TV. I'm your host, Lydia Patel, and I've got Suzette Shepard, who's the president of the Brooklyn Chapter. And like I said, it's October of Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and a lot of things going on. Suzette, welcome to Beyond Focus TV. Thank you. Thanks for having us. You're very welcome. So tell us about this beautiful health fair that we have on this Saturday morning. Well, it's a gift for life block walk where we invite people to come in and get health uh, care screenings and to get wellness care, which is uh, insurance, because a lot of people in New York now don't have insurance. And we have free mammograms, we have the mammogram truck here to provide the women with free mammograms and stuff. And um, what else can I say? <laughs> Well, it's just a great event, and for those who don't know, it's absolutely free once you come over here today. All the services are free, you get lots of little goodies, so it's really a nice day. Why don't you really emphasize on how important it is to come out and get screened? It's very important for women to get their mammograms on a yearly basis, do self-examinations um, weekly, because it can be changed just that quick in your breast. So you have to be very aware of what's going on with your breast. And if you need some help, you always got your mate to help you out. <laughs> Which I'm sure many of them probably won't have a problem in doing. Right. But what are some of the main signs that you should look for? Uh, any difference in your breast, or any lumps in your breast, or any change in the um, nipple, you check that or any leakage besides regular milk and you know when you're supposed to be milk bearing years and if you are beyond the milk bearing years and there's something else going on then you need to go and get that examined and the best places to go is cancer centers you can't go to any hospital and just get that checked because every hospital has an oncology department but they do not specialize in cancer and that's what you need to do get somebody that specializes in cancer now those cancer centers are they covered by most insurances or yes. how do you work with that Yes, most cancer centers are covered by most insurances. Um, you have Mormonides here in Brooklyn. You have um, uh, Sloan Kettering, who has an infusion center here. Also in Manhattan, you have Sloan Kettering, Beth Israel, NYU, which is my alma mater, of course. And, um, and then you have some in, um, in the Bronx as well. You have Einstein, Montefiore. You need to go out and get yourself checked. Every hospital does not specialize. Downstate just opened up a cancer center. So, you know, that's added on to our places that we can go and find resources to. But yes, please go and get yourself checked. And if you don't have insurance, we have people here that can sign you up for insurance. So there's no need to not have insurance. But Obamacare here, hey, we need to do this. Absolutely. Now, starting at what age? I know they typically start saying around 40, you should start going and get checked. But what if you have a history? If you have a history, then you have, you have to have your mammograms earlier on. When they say history, they mean two to three people in your family who has a history of breast cancer or any kind of cancer, actually. Then you start having it. And don't let the doctors tell you no because you're too young. You tell them, uh-uh. I have a history, and because my family has a history, I have a right to have a mammogram and fight for your rights. And if not, call me. I'll help you fight for your rights. 
I love it. So give us a little breakdown of what the Brooklyn Chapters has been doing. I know today is one of your main events. What else do you have going on for the rest of the year? Uh, well, the 27th of October, we have our National Day of Worship, which will be at Mount Pisgah Baptist Church. Um, and that's uh, on the morning and at part of the afternoon. And then we have, um, are we doing a walk? We're doing a breast walk for American Cancer Society. So that's on the 20th. So we're all meeting at Mount Pisgah and then going over. So, And then we're having other events during the year. I do presentations, and a lot of people have called us for presentations, of course, for Breast Cancer Month, but cancer goes on 12 months a year. 365 days doesn't just stop or start on October 1st to the 30th. It's, that's, it's not. Mm -hmm. So... And it's good that you stress that because a lot of people really go overboard with pink. You see everybody going pink from the 1st to the 31st. And after that, like you said, well, cancer is still going on. And if you're a sufferer, you're a survivor, you know, you're getting everything up. So that's definitely important. Where can we get in contact with you before I let you go? Uh, we have a website. It's www.sistersnetworkbrooklynchapter. Then we have Facebook. Of course, we're on Facebook. And you can email us at Brooklyn. Brooklyn at sistersnetworkinc.org. Suzette Shepard, thank you very much. She is president. Definitely doing it up here at the Brooklyn Chapters. Wonderful event. Keep it right here. I'm Lydia Patel, and you're watching Beyond Focus TV. to enrich women's lives and so the Mary Cass Charitable Foundation had this contest and the winners um, will the top 50 winners win $5,000 for the charity of their choice so um, my model her name was Stacy Gamble that's her in the picture and she was a model for the contest and she was the top 50 out of 133,000 entries worldwide wow. 66,000 right here in the United States alone 
And the charity of choice was the Sisters Network of Brooklyn because she lost her best friend to cancer. I lost my mother and my sister six months apart to, to breast cancer. And not enough is done, but we're dedicated to uh, finding a cure for this cause, and I'm just so excited. I'm just so excited to be to be responsible for having the model that won this donation to give to the Sisters Network. I cannot tell you. Well, overall, how does that make you feel to see that you're a part of a network, you work for Mary Kay, you're actually a distributor, you do a lot of great things, that they're actually doing something so important for breast cancer? Well, we're a company of women. There are three million of us, and all women share in these situations. And, uh, the, and our foundation, the Mary Cash Charitable Foundation, is dedicated to finding as quickly as possible a cure for cancers affecting women, and breast cancers especially, and breast cancer especially for African American women, because we have the highest rate of, of death from breast cancer. And it comes from education, and funds are needed to, to pursue this goal. So what other events is Mary Kay working on right now throughout the rest of the year? Well, right now, uh, Mary Kay is go doing a college tour. They're going through colleges all around the United States, educating the next generation in all the facets of, of business and healthcare. And um, we're also uh, working on teen abuse and uh, victims of domestic violence, which is women and children who are victims of domestic violence. So Mary Kay has donated to uh, shelters, has built homes for victims of the different weather situations uh, around the country. And it's a, it's a very big endeavor, and we're just very, very proud of that. Before I let you go, how do we get in contact with you if people want to donate, get more involved with breast cancer? Um, you can go to my website, <laughs> of course, e, um, marykay.com slash Elisha, or you can go to the marykay.com website, and there's a link that will take you right to the um, heritage. And if you go to the heritage link, it will show you everything that we're doing for um, breast cancer. Wonderful. Alicia Brown, thank you so much. You're watching Beyond Focus TV. Don't go anywhere. We're right here at the fair. Very big afternoon. And so much more in store. Stay with us.
watching Beyond Focus TV. I'm Lydia Patel, and we're here today for the beautiful breast cancer event that we have. Because as you know, October is officially Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And I've got a crew here from Sydney Downstate. Why don't you all introduce yourself? My name is Sarah Marsh, and I'm the coordinator for this program. And I work for the Center for Community Health Promotion and Wellness. And I'm also um, a professor at the College of Nursing. Wonderful. So my name is Laura Aguilera, I'm an RMBSN student and I work with Professor Marshall. Hi, my name is Ilya Kovic and I'm also a student at RMBSN at SUNY Downstate and I'm working with Mr. Marshall for Professor Marshall with uh, health awareness uh, at this community. And it's great, it's great at this community working with, uh, with members of this community to try to help out as, as much as we can as students. Wonderful. So how do you feel today to actually see your event be put on? Okay. Well, this is not our event, but we are working with the coordinator of this community. Uh, I will talk to you a little, hopefully, about breast feeding and breast health, but before we do that, we'll let them tell you a little about what they've been doing. So they have been then screening for diabetes, and they've been screening doing blood pressure screening, and they'll tell you about their experience so far, and then you come back to me. All right, so how's been your experience? Okay, so I have been doing diabetes screening. I have been like getting my patient, uh, you know, these people that are coming to screen, I got him. <laughs> and, you know, it's good to talk to them. They, there are so many things that sometimes they don't know. So you told them about diet, what they need to be eating, exercise, and all the things in order to improve their uh, health, you know. So many of the people that have been coming a little bit scared, I don't want to do this. So you talk to them and get them out of that fear. And once you do the screening and they see the result, they are more comfortable. So you help them make a decision if to see a doctor, if um, the blood sugar is fine, then they just keep having a good diet and a good exercise and, you know, like What about you? Yes, I'd definitely like to talk to community members about blood pressure screening and uh, diabetes control and especially speaking with them about uh, taking medication regularly on a regular basis and exercise is one of the main uh, preventions. Exercise, diet, is uh, those are the mainstreams to help the, lower the disease, blood pressure and diabetes. Uh, just prevention and maintenance, health maintenance, that's what uh, I'm here to, uh, to, to help with the community members, to try to talk to them and, uh, you know, to make sure, to ease them in so they're not as nervous to talk to the, you know, health professionals. We as nurses, health professionals, you know, try, we try to tell community that we, it's a, uh, it's okay to, it's, uh, that's the right to speak with uh, uh, with uh, doctors and nurses and find out more about health condition. Okay, uh, so we as nurses are advocates, you know, so that's what I try to uh, send a message to members of the, this community. Yeah. Now before okay. I wrap up, let's get to you. Yes, thank you very much, but before I speak again, I'd just like to mention one of my colleagues, Ms. Stephanie Lugwood, who is also a registered professional nurse and she's also a student at Hunter College, College, and she's getting her master's in public health, community nursing. Okay, now, so, um, so you, in you terms of we like this month is Breast Health Awareness Month, and we like to really make certain because we don't know the cause of breast cancer and we don't have a cure. But what we do have is early detection. So we want to make certain that everyone knows that they should then be looking at the screening for early detection and making certain that they know the guidelines and know how to identify any changes with themselves and also know the risk factors that they may have and know about, as was stated earlier, the diet, what they should eat, and the exercise. Um, another uh, thing that we like to talk about that, we, that is global is breastfeeding. And breastfeeding has to do with the way we are at this stage because when we were babies, if we were breastfed exclusively for six months, then we probably would not or we would have the reduced risk of air infection, respiratory infection, asthma, and our IQ would be at least 10 points higher. With, um, and the, with, we would reduce the risk of diabetes type 1, type 2, and obesity in children and some of the cancers. For mommy, it would then help in terms of bringing her body back to the non-pregnant state. 
and also we will reduce the risk of mommy for ovarian and breast cancer. So uh, those are some of the uh, benefits. Now the benefit to the public in terms of the packages that, that if someone is formula feeding, so that pollutes the air, so that would not be there. And in terms of the employer, mommy would not be missing days because the child would not be ill. So those are some of the benefits, and uh, there is law that mommy can breastfeed any time, any place where mommy is, she can breastfeed. So we want to make certain that we all work as advocate, and we all, if we should see a mommy that's breastfeeding, we want to applaud her and tell her she's doing a great job. If we see a mommy who would like to breastfeed, we want to then tell her all the benefits of breastfeeding, and so that she can then make an informed decision if she chooses not to breastfeed. Well, thank you very much. All of this is so informative right here for part of Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Keep it right here. You're watching Beyond Focus TV. Welcome back. You're watching Beyond Focus TV. I'm Lydia Patel, and I'm here with Denise from The Noble Touch. Definitely doing some inspiring, some meditation, and, of course, all part of Breast Cancer Awareness Month here for the month of October. So, Denise, welcome to Beyond Focus TV. Thank you. Glad to be here. Glad to have you here. I actually took the experience, and I have to say it was quite relaxing, and you tapped into some different energies, which is great. Tell us about the program. Okay, well, what we do is we basically work with your energy field, because um, as you know, everything, everyone is made up of energy, and we just try to get all the negativity off of you, because most of your stresses, your sickness, your diseases will come from the outside and affect your body on the inside, so we try to catch it before it goes in. So when you see us sweeping, we're just cleaning off your energy field. Like I was telling him, it's like a car, when your windshield gets dirty, you can't really see it. So we clean it, we clean it, and then we re-energize you. And we focus on different parts of your body. It's like your stress, you know, you carry it in your head, or your sinuses, or your stump, you know, your solar plexus. And we just clean your chakras, and then we re-energize you. So what are you re-energizing? Some people at home may be interested to know what is the re-energizing process. Oh, we're, and we're just sending you energy. We take off all the negativity. Let's say, for example, you ever go into a space and all of a sudden you're feeling, you know, those are people's negative vibes. Like if that's the vibe you feel, we kind of get that off. And you can go around someone else and you say, oh, that person, I just feel so good. That's their positive energy. So we're trying to give you the positive energy. We're just channeling it. It's not any magic. It's all out there. We're just channeling this, this guy, the spiritual angels, all your ancestors, and whoever you believe in to come help us to get you right. Absolutely. I love that. So how do people get in contact with you? Well, so we have a card here, and we have, um, we have a space we work at in Mount Pisgah Church. We do community nights of healing, the first and third Monday of every month. We just open up to the community and come in from 7 to 9, and we get free sessions. You can also book a private session if you want. And Jeff Elanova, he has office space. He works with a medical doctor in Manhattan and one in Brooklyn. So we're all over. Love it. Well, Denise, thank you so much. Keep it right here. You're watching Beyond Focus TV, and okay. this is The Noble Touch. The Noble Touch. Beyond Focus TV, we're here at the fair, and I've got David from Salad Master. He's going to be giving us some tips on how to eat healthy. Of course, it's all part of Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So, David, welcome to the program. Yes, thank you so much. Thank you so much for inviting me here. I feel so good just being here teaching people how to eat healthy. Here I have the world-famous Salad Master machine. You see how easy it is to cut up. Um, a bowl of salad and what we actually do we actually teach people how to eat healthy my healthy way of preparing your food and a, and a very good preparer so what we do we come to people's home we teach them how to eat healthy by preparing a five course meal fried chicken scallop potato four vegetables we bake a cake we do a coleslaw just having fun showcasing the cookware in people's home so that people could see that see an alternative to the cookware that is out there. So that's basically what we do. And we're from a company called Ultimate Cooking Systems. We are a direct distributor for Salad Master, which have been around from 1946. Oh, wow. Yes, and guess what? It is American made. We should be a round of applause for that, right? All right. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. You're very welcome. But before we go, how do we get in contact with you? Yes, you can get in contact with us by going on our website, ultcsys.saladmaster.com. And I also have literature that you could take with you. With you. All right? All right, David. 
Thank you so much. That's Beyond Focus TV. We're having a great day. Check it out right here. Don't go away. And I'm here with Jeffrey Noble, who's the founder, the visionary, the CEO, the brainchild <laughs> of Noble that we had here today at the Breast Cancer Awareness Month. A big charity event. So tell us about the healing that you're doing. Well, the healing that we do is called energy medicine. It's referred to as energy medicine. It's a new field of medicine that takes into consideration the person's whole body. Physicians basically worry about the physical body or the chemical part of the body, meaning pharmaceutical and all those type of things. And we worry about more is the energetic body. See, any illnesses that starts anywhere in the physical body starts off in the energetic body. Some people call it the spiritual body. So what we do is we keep the spiritual body clean. But people always take a shower to clean their physical body. But we get people showers to clean their spiritual body. So that's that what we're doing today. So how has been the response since you started doing this? Wow. Depends on, everybody loves it, first of all, because we're all stressed. I don't care what people say. Everyone has some stress in their body. And stress is what causes most illnesses. 85 to 90% of all illnesses are stress-related. So if we continue to reduce the stress in people, then there'll be less illnesses. So the response has been great. People are not used to seeing it. But once they experience it, it's like, wow, you had it, you, you had it done. I did, and I loved it, and he had it done. We, so it, it's great, and I do, I feel more relaxed to come out of there feeling good, so it's very positive. And when you feel relaxed, you make better decisions and everything else. Not only that, but your body heals better when you're relaxed. When you relax, you make better decisions, you feel better about life, and things just happen to flow for you when you feel more relaxed. When you're tight like this, energy's not flowing through your body, and so you don't have the same resources or creativity available to you when you feel tight all the time. So it helps loosen you up also. Well, I'm definitely going to be booking another session with you and coming to check that out. Letting our viewers know that you can come out. It's also at Mount Pisgah. That's the location. Mount Pisgah, the first and third Mondays of every week, we do community work at Mount Pisgah. I work downtown also, but my way of giving back to the community is to do events like this at Mount Pisgah. is free every first and third Monday of every month. I always forget. They remember better than I do. <laughs> All right, we'll be checking that out on the first and third Monday of every month at Mount And my Pisca. website, if you want to check out my website, that has more information, is thenobletouch.com. Thenobletouch.com. And then I'm also on another site called patientsmedical.com. And Patients Medical has a long extended bio of my, of my uh, practice and what I do there also. All right. We'll check that out right here. You're watching Beyond Focus TV. Well, guys, that wraps up today's episode of Beyond Focus TV. I'm your host, Lydia Patel, and I really hope you enjoyed spending the last 30 minutes with us going up close and personal at today's Breast Cancer Awareness Month, a big event by the Brooklyn Chapters that was put on. We got to see a lot of meditation. We got to speak to people. We got to see Mary Kay and a lot of things that were put on. So, of course, you know, we'll be giving you a lot more of that coming up over the next few weeks, so make sure to check that out. So until next week, I'm your host, Lydia Patel, and you're watching Beyond Focus TV. Beyond Focus TV show wants and needs your feedback. Did we blunder? Please let us know so we can improve. Was the show helpful to you? Drop us a note so we can share the success with our staff members. Is there something you think we could do better? We welcome new ideas and new approaches to old ideas. Do you have a great suggestion? Let us know, and we'll work on it. If you would like to share your comments anonymously, please send us an email at info at beyondfocusmedia.com. If you want to get in touch with the executive producer directly, send him an email at gene at beyondfocusmedia.com. We really look forward to hearing from you.